Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a 100 watt grow light for growing plants indoors for around $30. And you can find all the supplies at Lowe's at Home Depot, either one. Um, first you're going to need a 24 inch by 6 inch round piece of ducting. And you'll cut, there's a reducer, it's about 2 inches that you cut off with some, uh, you can use tin snips, these right here. Or uh, you could leave it on if you want, but it makes it look a little cleaner. And then you'll need, that's about 350. And then you'll need this four pack of CFL light bulbs. Uh, they're compact fluorescents with a 5000 Kelvin rating, which is a good light spectrum for plants. And those were $11. Then you'll need an extension cord with the end off of it. That's about 350. And uh, two of these ceiling lamp holders. You need to drill a quarter inch hole on each of them. And then these two ways that screw in here. And then you'll screw two bulbs in each one. You also need a 30 inch piece of it's electrical wire. It looks like that. It's yellow. And then you strip the yellow off and you take the bare wire out and you use the black one and the white one. You use that to connect the two and you also need a two foot piece of MDF board or you can use plywood and uh, just cut a semicircle. It's around almost 11 inches across at the uh, from here to here. It's actually about 10 and 3 quarters. So uh, let's get started building. Um, I've already started this one. You're going to run the wire through and you want to connect the white wire to the silver screws and the black wire to the gold screws. And then you can mount it right there on your piece of board. And you'll do the same on this one. You'll run it across and then that's how you screw it in. Let's go ahead and get this thing built. Okay, now we've got the one mounted here and screwed it in with little three quarter inch, uh, three quarter inch number six screws. And be careful not to screw too tight because it will crack the plastic. And uh, that one screwed in, and then we ran the extension cord through the back end through here and attached it to this unit on this one. So the power will run to this one power that light and then connect over and power that light. Okay. Alright, once you got it all wired up, you're going to put this uh, metal ducting over top of the ends and you're going to use a 3 30 seconds drill bit to drill five holes in each side and it's easiest I found if you start at the top, drill a pilot hole and put, um, it's these wood trim screws is what I use one inch and they've got a small head on them so it kind of flush mounts them but I do the top one first and then I'll come over here and do the top one on this side and it kind of helps line them all up a lot better alright after you got all the screws drilled in and it's put together you need to take a quarter inch drill bit and a three eighths inch drill bit and go in three inches and two and a half inches and these are for the s-hooks this is what's gonna you're gonna use to hang it by so and then uh, flip this thing over there's the light bulbs and another tip is that wire I use this uh, it's just like a metal it's for ducting tape and uh, you don't want to tape it directly in the middle because that's where you're gonna drill your holes at you want to push it over here to the side so you make sure you don't drill your wires out so all we got to do now is just test it out just make sure this thing works and uh, voila there you go 100 watts of uh, light for your plants for thirty dollars you can't beat it alright so I just brought it in here to the grow room to hang it up, I'm going to go and paint it black to match this system. I just wanted to step back and show you what it looks like done. 30 bucks, it's pretty cheap little grow light. Works really good. So, 
I'm gonna be selling them on my website if you don't feel like making it I'm gonna sell them on there um, not sure what the price is yet probably around seventy five dollars for the labor to put them together but uh, you can go to my website anytime and check it out I've got a bunch of stuff for sale on there now and it's gonna keep on growing so thanks for watching